Okay, guys, so today we're going to learn about how to create a sprint in Jira. So here I am inside my Jira project, well, projects. And I'm going to pick this project, um, which is my case studies. And as you can see, I have no active sprints right now. I have no active sprints. So I'm going to jump to the backlog by clicking on this backlog item here. And there is some rules or some permissions around being able to create the sprint. So if you're seeing that this is grayed out, it may be that you don't have the authority, the permissions to be able to access this button. But because I am the sole administrator <laughs> of my version of Jira, I have access to everything. So once you can get access, then this button would look like this. And so on the backlog view, you're just going to create click on create sprint. So on the backlog view, you're just going to click on create sprint. Yeah. So once you click on create sprint, it's just going to give it a, like a default name. And this will be your sprint area that you can start dragging your stories into. I like to go to the context menu and click on edit sprint. And then I'm going to replace this name. In this case, I'll just call it banana. This is my banana sprint. You know, teams can name their sprint whatever they want. Sometimes they name it based on functionality. Sometimes they name it based on fruits. I mean, sometimes they just put the dates and that's the name. So there's a lot of creativity around naming sprints. And you could just pick how long your sprints will be. If you need a custom date, you put it on custom. I'm going to stick with a two-week sprint. And I'm going to say, let's start that with today's date, which is July 20th. And it will know where it should end, August 3rd. And you could say, you know, whatever you want to put here as a description. So I'm going to put test sprint and update. And now I have my sprint called banana. And I haven't started the sprint because there's no user stories in there. But the sprint has been created. Now, next thing you'd want to do is start you know, dragging your user stories into the sprint based on, you know, whatever status that you're looking at. We have another video that we talk about, you know, managing Jira statuses so that typically the things that you pull into the sprint have a status of maybe, um, you know, approved or something like that. But for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to share with you how to create a sprint in future videos, we'll talk more about starting your sprint and refining your sprint. Okay, thank you guys. Take care.